Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, I tried my hardest to not have to do another episode, but I. I uh, this level pisses me off so much in so many ways. I nearly died. I had a near death experience with this game. And, uh. Yeah, I was at one health. And I grabbed, like, every single health I could, and I'm good now. And now we just need to find that last jiggy. You know, that one jiggy. I need to go over every jiggy in this level now and figure out which one was the one I missed. I know it's not in the, uh, the, the, the church. Or is it? No, it's not in the church. Um, I know I didn't miss that one. No, it wasn't the Jinjos, is it? Uh, this is one of the weirdest things I've ever missed. I usually miss things like uh, musical notes. I'm fucking missing... I'm freaking missing a jiggy. A jiggy. Ladies and gentlemen, a jiggy. Hell? Random health laying there? And it had probably always been there? Oh, not there. mind is like blank right now I don't know uh, I missed a jiggy I don't know where it is. Not that one. That's weird. Oh, I know which one I missed. I'm such a dumbass. Uh, it's up here. Get up there. Get the fuck up. Thank you. I went up here, got all the musical notes, and jumped back down. I was a dumbass. I do this every time I play the game. I'll go to like one of these little areas up here, grab the musical notes, and leave. But I'll forget there's a jiggy up here. And this one, I'm gonna climb up this roof here. And up in there. He's gonna dance in the pole. Pole dancing. Okay, that's everything. Okay, we're done with this level. We can leave. Well, not just yet. We got one more thing to do. It's not in the level, but we need to transform to do it. So, still related to this level. Actually, got two more things to do with the transformation. We can get them both done in a row. And just knock them out in this episode. And then we can uh, get some extra things, get the level unlocked, and we'll stop. This is going to be a Gruntilda's Lair episode then. So, I'm just going to turn to a pumpkin to start this mission of Gruntilda's Lairness. There we are. <laughs> Haven't died yet. I have not died in this whole LP. I got close. So I'm starting to lose faith in humanity. But we're good. That's what I gotta do. I gotta put a little, like, captain's log or this whole thing. It's gonna be pretty funny. Wow! Your best note score for this world is now 100! Ouch. This guy reminds me of Thwomp. Does anyone agree? The giant tombstone just reminds me so much of Thwomp. Or was it Womp or Thwomp? Thwomp's for It's just Womp, Womp, Womp. In Mario. Because Thwomp is the blue thing. Womp is the is the not blue thing, the gray thing. And Thwomp is not any of them. What's the, what's the one, what's the one with the, uh, it's like a gray Thwomp. Like, thwomp, like, like, Thomp. There's Thomp, Thwomp, and Womp. Thomp, Thwomp, and Womp. There's, Womp is the 
gray block with arms and legs. Womp is the blue block, and Thwomp is... It looks like the blue block, but he's gray and has little, like, frills around his face for some reason. Nothing to do here. Yeah, Mumbo was actually in Grunty's lair, which is interesting. And he isn't in one of his temples, either. This is temples, it's huts. That's what you get. Hit the switch, and you'll notice around the area of the one level, the water arises. So we can get into that area now. I'm going to turn back to a pumpkin so we can go do the other thing as a pumpkin. I've also heard a rumor there's a way you can turn into a T-Rex in this game. I don't know if it's real. Like, I know that it is true, there are times you'll use him and he'll be like, Mumbo tried to turn you into a T-Rex and he'll fail. Or he'll turn you into, like, he'll either not turn you into anything, or he'll turn you into a washing machine by accident and turn you back. And I, I know there is a way to become a washing machine in this game. I'm not going to hide it. And I will show that in the last episode. How to become a washing machine and walk around as a washing machine. And it's no secret or anything. Everyone knows about that cheat. And it's part of the game. It's actually one of my favorite parts of the game. It's the fact you can become a washing machine. Walking around as one. And then the second game, obviously, there's washing machine. Fuck. Second death. Second death. We got a full set of lives. What? Is this like Dino City, which I watched the JonTron review for, never actually played. But, uh... Oops. Is it count up to nine, but go past nine? Oh, okay, I was gonna say, like, is it, is it really just go from nine to nine and just stay... And, never mind. I forget that one scene from that one movie. This is not the sound. If anyone was like walking by my room right now, they would get the totally wrong idea hearing that. But uh, anyways, back to the game. We've gotten past a really hard platform of death, and there is Cheeto again. Cheeto Bear and Bird have found once more another spell they get. If one more page, I see you turn, and Grunty shall Cheeto burn. Dusty Witch is a code I shall tell. Enter Red Feathers on Santa Castle floor in Treasure Trove Cove. They say all the words out of order, and I can't understand what they're saying. But yeah, go to getting that. <sighs> There's one more Cheeto who you go to as Banjo and Kazooie themselves. And I think I can actually get to it right now if I really wanted to. I'm not gonna do it right about it right now. Okay, I think we're good. It's jumping across it like like it's nothing now. See, it's the let's it's the let's players curse. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Also, the way it moves is just disgusting. Also, the only puzzle in the game you can access is something besides Banjo, I think. I think there's one you can access just the Termite, but... Not care. Still not care. And we are almost done with this game. We only have two more levels left. Now, with that being said, those two levels we have left are some of the hardest levels. Maybe even one of them is one of the hardest levels in gaming history, I swear. The other one's pretty damn hard. Um, one of them has the hardest jiggy in the game, and... They, they, yeah, one of them has the most confusing jiggies in the game. So, in other words, I'm not really excited to do that level. Or those two levels. Which is why I need a totally separate recording session for both of them. Because one of them is... 
divide. It's like, okay, basically, if you guys have played Donkey Kong 64, you'll know Fungus Forest has day and night. And there's like two different versions of the world, day and daytime and nighttime, and the, the world's affected by it. Imagine that, but with the four seasons. It's like there's spring, fall, autumn. There's spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And, um, yeah, it's affected by those, which makes it even more difficult, especially in a game with not very many items. And then there's the other level, which is just the one I'm about to go to next episode, which is a big harbor, which is something I've never done before. I've never seen a harbor level before. And, um, yeah, that's just really hard to do. Also, if you go to that one room with the thing, there is a gate there. I wanted to do that gate there. I one I couldn't jump to. I don't know if I showed that or not. But uh, you can't jump to it. I'm just gonna jump up here real quick. To breathe. And Keep going. This pipe is like freaking surgery. If you go the wrong direction just once, it's like fucking ruined. Like you just die because it's drowning. Okay, alright. Where is it? There it is. You just jump up here and break it. And you can get into this. You can also get into this room um, without breaking that, but if you want a shortcut, uh, it helps to break it now. And I've always gotten the habit of breaking it, anyways. Rusty Bucket Bay. Yep, everyone knows Rusty Bucket Bay. If they don't know Rusty Bucket Bay, they've at least heard a theme song of it. Okay, everyone's heard a theme song of Rusty Bucket Bay. Even people who haven't even heard of Banjo Kazooie know the theme song of this level. This is a really popular level. And maybe mainly because a lot of people make lists of like hard levels and games and hard parts of games always feature one part of this level. And uh yeah, this game is this level is very popular even people who haven't played Banjo Kazooie. It's very well known. And uh that's why I like this level. It's a really well known level. But I also hate this level cuz it's a really hard level. That's why it's well known. Now had it been like well known for like being like a really cool level, which it is. I mean, it's a pretty cool idea. You know, I would have better feelings for it. Let's hit this. And this will raise the water again. You'll see what the first button did. Actually, it did show you anyways. Now, also, the level's submerged in water now, so you have to swim into the level. And, and basically everything else. Now, you might notice there's something up here, which we need to get to. And also, there's a much bunch of things we can get to now. We don't need to freaking use stuff anymore to get to. Like, we don't need any fancy tactics to get this stuff anymore. Now it's all easy stuff. Everything's accessible now. There's nothing in those side pipes, don't worry. There's just, like, gold feathers in there. Up here, though, it leads to a secret room with a secret button. But I'm not gonna press it right away. Actually, I will press it right away, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm a smart man. Actually, maybe I'm not a smart man, but damn, well, I will try. You know, and then go through this pipe here. And swim up. And there's another room up here that leads to the third Cheeto, the final Cheeto. This one's one of the hardest ones to find. I took forever to find this. Bear and bird get, getting good at finding Cheeto, so another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck, so in the burning fire I'll chuck. Find Cheeto, which won't. Code, you must enter on Sankasa floor, and treasure 12 cove is gold feathers. And so, those three codes, um... As you can see, there's 100, 50, and 10 is the maximum for our items. Well, it will double that 200 eggs, 100 feathers, and t 20 gold feathers. Which is useful. You can, you can use something like that. No, I don't need the raises anymore, I don't think. That's all it was for. 
There's some other things, like extra shortcuts and stuff you can take by raising it, but it's really no point. I'm just gonna go up the E's the hard way. Z hard way. Now, if you haven't noticed, you got the green um, magic cauldrons connected now, so we're good with them. Done. Oh, this will be fun. I I never knew about this the first time I played the game. I, I, I knew about it, but I didn't think twice about doing this. Okay, that's good. Good. We're in new a new enemy is introduced. He only appears twice in the whole man in the whole lair. It's this guy. Jesus. So deep pitched. He takes like two hits with the most powerful attack to kill. There's a bowl again, by the way. Like I said, he would appear. And this is the door to the final level of the game, which is the hardest one with the four seasons. I'll find it. There it is. I have a feeling like a room like this would just be awesome. Like an indoor forest growing. I don't know. That's just like the coolest thing ever. And you might notice. Oh, get out of here! Get a life! Get a life! It hurts you still? I'm gonna open this real quick, but I'm not gonna go in there. Don't have enough. You found some notes, but you need more to break my spell and pass this door. <laughs> I'm which which laugh. This button right here. We'll make that appear. So we can actually access this level at some point. Which we will, of course. But, uh, right here's where I want to go. Ta da! That's the last Momo token for Grunty's Lair. And that means we are done with this episode. Oh crap, bomb, 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 bomb! Shrapnel's his name. Bomb! And I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed.